Hello everybody, I'm Evelyn of The Pink Sheep and I am here to bring you a video today about bulky summer yarns. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love chunky yarn. So bulky, chunky, size five, six, even seven, um, that's my go-to for my yarn, but in the summertime, that can be a little difficult. Um, as you can see right now, I'm wearing a um, crop top. This is actually my everyday crop top pattern and it is actually made using a size four. So one of the things that I'll do in the summer is I'll also sometimes double up on a lighter weight yarn so that I can still use my larger hooks, um, but I don't always have to purchase actual five and six uh, bulky and super bulky size yarns. So today I'm gonna go through some of my favorite yarns to use in the summer. Um, the first one is actually going to be what I used for my crop top. So I will use um, just a worsted weight cotton in the summertime. Um, sometimes I'll use it alone and I'll go down to like a five and a half millimeter size hook. Um, and let me actually grab this for you guys so you guys can see. So this is my go-to yarn. So this is just the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. This is my go-to because you can find it almost anywhere. Um, you can find it at Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, online. Um, lots of different stores carry this. Um, it's very affordable. I think these are like $1.75 a piece. Um, I only need, I think, maybe two of them to make a crop top. Um, so again, this is the only time I'll go down to a smaller size hook like a five and a half millimeter or a six millimeter to make something out of this yarn by itself. But I also like to make um, drink cozies, coffee cozies, iced coffee cozies, beer cozies. If you check out my Etsy shop, there is a cat themed coffee cozy bundle. So you get the bottle cozy and the cat cozy. And I will double up this yarn. So I hold it double stranded and I use a 10 millimeter hook. So I get to bump up into my chunky hook sizes and I still get to use my cotton yarn. So this is the first yarn that I brought to show you guys. The second one would be something like this. This is the Lion Brand Pima Cotton. So it's softer and it's really, really great for like summer wearables. So if you do decide you wanna make a wearable, maybe the Lily Sugar and Cream is not soft enough for you, then you can move to this. This is also a four, um, but again, you can double it up. You can mix it with something else. So if you don't really like using the smaller weight hooks, um, like me, uh, you can always double your yarn up and use um, two strands, three strands, four strands. Uh, I believe my in my Etsy shop, I have a summer romper. So it's called the Lily Romper, and that uses three strands of a size four uh, worsted weight cotton. Um, so that's a really fun pattern where you get to multiple, you get to use multiple strands. Um, you could even combine different colors and make like a scrappy romper. That's an option. Um, so, and I believe that calls for either a size 10 or 12 millimeter hook. So you'd have to double check, but I always have it in the pattern listing. So if you don't want to purchase it yet, you can go check the yardage that you need in the hook size to make sure you have it before you decided to purchase that. But, um, that's how I like to use the summer cottons. Now, an interesting thing that I just found this year that I had to purchase because I had to check it out is a super bulky, um, it's actually like a jumbo. I think it's a seven, um, and not a five or a six, but an actually a seven, um, and it's cotton. So I had to get it just to get my hands on it to check it out. I have not really gotten to use it yet, um, and I'll definitely let you guys know what it's like once I get to use it. But without further ado, I present to you, I can get it out of here. This is Premier brand yarn, and it is called Premier Home Cotton XL. <laughs> so this is like the holy grail uh, of bulky yarn for people like me in the summer because it doesn't exist. It's really hard to find super bulky cotton yarn. So this is actually, it's actually 85% cotton. So it's a cotton polyester mix. It's 15% polyester, which is actually kind of hard to tell from what it feels like. Cause to me, it feels a lot like Lily sugar and cream. So it's not super, super soft. It feels just like regular cotton kitchen yarn. Um, but what's interesting about this, and let's see if I can find the end of it for you. Yes, so it is like hook and looped. I'm gonna zoom in on that for you so you can see if it'll actually zoom in. 
Let's see. Here, let me open it up a little bit. That'll make it a little easier for me to show you guys. I think if I hold it this way, you guys will be able to see. There we go. So you can see that it's like chain. It's like a chain um, type of situation. So the good news is I would think that that would allow it to stay together well. Um, like I don't think it's gonna break up really bad or fray. Uh, I can't be 100% sure. Um, but I'm really interested to try it. It is pretty thick. So it is considered a size seven. So you guys can see on the back here um, that it does say that it is in fact a seven, not a five or a six. I don't know why that doesn't want to focus in for you guys. Let's see, maybe I pull it away a little bit. Oh, I think it's just too close. There you go. So it's a size seven. Um, it only has 82 yards per skein. Um, that is compared to, if I were to use Lily Sugar and Cream, this one has 95 yards. And the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand has 186 yards. So there's a lot more on here. Um, so you don't get very much. And like I said, it's really thick yarn. I mean, they, they mean it when they said it was a size seven. Um, I figured it probably would maybe be a small size seven and I could get away with using it as a size six. Um, but I got, uh, I think three or four of these, so I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with them yet. Um, I am working on a bucket hat pattern, so it's possible that I may try to make a bucket hat out of this just to see what it looks like. Um, but it's kind of fun, you know, I had to try it because I'm like the bulky yarn queen. So um, I had to get my hands on it and check it out. Um, and I'll definitely have to do a review once I start using it so you guys can hear my thoughts and, and find out, you know, how it is to work with it. But that's another really fun one. Um, one that I don't have here with me because I used it all, um, if you guys check out my Pomona Tea crochet pattern, I used a bulky yarn, so a size five, from Made in America Yarns. So Made in America Yarns, um, I believe they're located in Pennsylvania, if I'm not mistaken, um, and they actually make all of their yarn there at the mill, and it's a textile mill, and they have a bulky a bulky weight five cotton um, yarn. And it's like, I guess it, the technique is called softball because it is it has one strand of yarn that holds the cotton together. It's 100% cotton, um, but that is a beautiful bulky weight yarn that I used for my Pomona tea pattern. So that's one that you should definitely check out as part of this summer bulky yarns um, video. So check that out. And I'm gonna put um, links to all of these different types of yarn in the comments. Um, so you can check all of them out on your own time and see if any of them would be for you. All right, so the next up on my list is going to be Bernat Maker Yarn. Here we go. So Home Deck, Bernat Maker Home Deck Yarn. So this yarn is great. I actually use this for, it's because it's soft. It's actually a pretty soft yarn. It is a cotton nylon mix. So it is 72% cotton and 28% nylon. And I'll use it for crop tops. I feel like it has a lot of structure to the yarn. Um, and again, it's pretty soft. So it actually makes for a really great um, crop top and even maybe clothing, probably not something big, probably more of just like a crop top, like bra substitute kind of thing. Um, because I feel like it wouldn't breathe all that well if you made like an entire top that was very tightly crocheted together. Um, but this is also really great for things like bags and other summer projects that aren't particularly wearable. Um, so this is another great one that you can check out. I really enjoy using it. It's easy to work with. Um, you get a lot of yardage. So let's see, this one is 317 yards. So you get a lot of yardage out of these. It goes a long way. Um, this is considered a size five. So there are patterns where I would actually double this up. So I have two bag patterns. One of them is already released. It's called the Mariner Crossbody Bag. That one, you would hold two strands of this together if you wanted to use it, but it creates a really, really great structure for bags. Um, all right, so that's Bernat, home, Bernat Maker Home Deck yarn. So you should check check that out. Um, all right, so very similar to Bernat Home Deck yarn is this Hobby Bungee Mini. There we go. Let's see if it'll focus on that for you. 
Yes, so Hobby Bungee Mini. I have fallen head over heels for this yarn. Um, I got to try it for the first time uh, during the Hobby, what did they call it? Um, no Shades of Grey Instagram challenge. So they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of the challenge. They sent me some of this yarn. And if you are following me on Instagram, you can go back and find the picture of my full length coveralls that I crocheted using Bungie Mini. Um, they're crazy looking. It's kind of ridiculous. They're not super, super um, functional, I guess, because they're quite heavy because they're full length. Um, but this is really fun to work with. It's easy to work with. It's amazing structure. Uh, this is actually the yarn that I used for my Mariner crossbody bag. It's what I recommend in my pattern. Um, it is a 42% cotton, 58% polyester mix. Um, it is a true size six, uh, super bulky yarn. Um, it reminds me a lot of like the squishy, chunky shoestrings. So if you've ever had shoes that have like the squishy shoestrings um, that are like tubular, that's what this reminds me of. You get, let's see, how many yards? I think it only says, oh, 68 yards. So you don't get a ton of yardage. Um, but if you buy from Hobby Yarn, I think they're located in Denmark, um, but they have really great sales um, all the time. They have different sales going on, but then you also get discounts if you order multiple. So if you're ordering stuff for like a big tote bag or a big project, you're going to get a discount because you're going to order a lot. And the other thing is they have beautiful, beautiful colors um, uh, options on these. So again, I'm gonna have links in, in the description to all of these different yarns for you to try out and check out. Um, but this is one of my favorites and I'm using it for a lot of different things. Um, and like I said, great structure for bags and things like that. I have not tried to make wearables out of it, but it's pretty soft. So I would say that it might be a win for wearables. Um, I'm just not sure how breathable or warm they'd be. So like, I don't know if they'd be breathable enough for summer or warm enough for winter. So it might end up being like a transition piece if I were to make something chunky like a cardigan out of this. All right, on to our next, I have, oh, here's another color too, so you guys can see. This is another color of Bungie Mini. So they have tons and tons of colors that you can choose from and they're all super bright and beautiful and vibrant when you get them. Another one that um, Hobby has so graciously been willing to send me, I've been working with them a lot lately to use their yarn for my patterns. So they've been sponsoring the yarn for a lot of my patterns. Um, that's what happened with my Mariner crossbody bag. They sent me the yarn for that pattern. And then this one, this is their ribbon yarn. So this is Hobby ribbon yarn. It is 100% cotton. Uh, it has 136 yards, so you get a lot of yardage, and it's stretchy, so it's it goes a long way. A little goes a long way, actually, more than I thought. Um, it is a size 5, so it's a bulky yarn. And again, beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, it's not super, super soft. I mean, it's pretty soft. I don't think it would be... Um, it might actually be a teeny bit softer than sugar and cream, but not quite as soft as like a Pima cotton. So I am using this yarn to make my current project, which is gonna be a very large tote bag. If you're following me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the photo of it, but it's gonna be called the Babe with the Yarn Tote Bag. So it's a very large tote bag. I'm actually holding this yarn double for this project. Um, and honestly, I'm super excited to try some other things with it. I have a bucket hat that I'm working on where I'm also holding this double, but I also think this might be kind of neat for like a crop top. So I would have to go down and hook size, but I might try to make like a crop top or even some kind of, um, transitional cardigan type piece for moving into the fall. Um, haven't decided yet, but this is a really great find as well. And I do believe that if you get ribbon yarn from anywhere else, it's very, very similar. If you purchase ribbon yarn that says it's a size five and it's 100% cotton, it's probably gonna be very, very similar to this. And I had a couple of people who are testing my new tote bag who purchased ribbon yarn from other places. They seem to be really happy with it. Um, so that's another one that I use during the summer that's a great bulky cotton option. So I also wanted to mention, just like the ribbon yarn, so the Bungie Mini, there's an interesting option for this that I've found that is very, very similar. 
um, and it's able, you can find it locally if you have a Joann's store or if you wanna purchase off of joanns.com. So the Joann's Craft Store has a yarn called um, Big Twist Textile very very similar to bungee mini so you should check that out i haven't tried it yet but i've had a lot of people who've used it so i had someone use it on my mariner crossbody bag and i have someone currently using it for my babe with the yarn tote bag pattern test so um, they seem to really like it um, like i said i have not gotten to try it personally um, but it's on my list to check it out because i would really love to do a comparison between the two um, to find out maybe if there's any difference in the actual fiber makeup of the yarn, but that's something you can check out. All right, so th that leaves me with one more that I have here that I wanted to show you. Now, this one, it's, it's interesting because it is 100% acrylic, so it's not really gonna be a breathable option for wearables during the summer, but I did make my overalls out of this, and so I figured it was worth sharing because, like I said, there's no wool content. It is 100% acrylic. It has really bright and fun colors, which is kind of summery, um, and it might be kind of cool for some projects that aren't wearable. So, um, or, you know, like I said, I made my overalls out of it and I love them and I can just layer them over like a cotton t-shirt or cotton tank top or something. But this is Lion Brand Yarns Mandala Thick and Quick. Okay, so I really, really like this stuff because like I said, it's 100% acrylic, so people with wool allergies, you don't have to worry. Um, it comes in lots and lots of fun, bright colors. Um, you get 87 yards, which isn't too bad, you know. Um, and it is a super bulky, so it is a true six. Um, I think this one is like five wraps per inch, maybe, um, if you're looking at it that way. But this is another really great one uh, that's 100% acrylic. The way that it is, it doesn't have a lot of fuzz. So um, if you have tried, um, let's see, Lion Brand Hometown USA. So that's one that I feel like it ages really fast. So if you work something up with Hometown USA, um, it almost feels like even though it's these are both 100% acrylic, for some reason I feel like it almost would breathe less well. I don't know what it is about the way that the fiber is put together on that one, but this one seems like it might actually be a little more breathable. I don't know. Um, but I really like this one, so I figured I'd bring it up during this video. Um, I believe that that's everything. Oh, t-shirt yarn. So. I do not have t-shirt yarn. I have made my own t-shirt yarn in the past, um, but it is on my list to try out because it is a super bulky cotton option. So that's another really great thing to add to your list. If you're looking for super bulky or bulky options to create things in the summer because you like using chunky hooks like me, um, then t-shirt yarn is another one to add to your list. I've had a lot of people who have used t-shirt yarns for my pattern tests, everything from cardigans to the, my bag patterns and have really enjoyed using it. So um, I know that uh, there are lots and lots of options for purchasing it. You can find it at a lot of different stores. Um, I've seen it at my Walmart store every now and then. Um, I know that I've seen it at Michael's. Um, Hobby has their own version. I believe Lovecrafts has their version. Um, so there's a lot of places where you can get it and that's a really great one that you can add to your list if you like bulky yarns and it's summertime. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please be sure to subscribe. I can't wait to bring you more videos like this. Um, and hit the like button and let me know if you have other types of yarn that you'd like me to review. You can pop that in the comments as well. But thank you so much for joining in and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!